Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Blender 2.8 final release onto Windows 10. So if we open up the web browser, in Google search, we'll just type in Blender 2.8 and we'll get to the Blender website. Let's click here and we'll click on this blue button here. And as default, when we click here, Blender is going to detect what sort of operating system we're using. And it's going to offer us that particular type of file. You can click on the drop down and select all the different variations. You've got Mac OS, Windows, you've got uh, Linux and so forth. I'm installing this on Windows. If you're not sure if you should have 64 bit or 32 bit, the easy way to check that is click on the search bar here, type in system, so type in system and hit the enter key. And if it says X64 here, then you want the 64-bit version. If it says x86, then you want the 32-bit. So I'm downloading 64. You may want to download 32-bit depending on what your system says. Let's click the green download button and we'll start to download Blender. If um, you're not familiar with Blender, if you've never used it before, I've done quite a few tutorials and I've put them all up onto my YouTube channel. So we'll have a look at those in a moment. I'll just explain how you can access them. You can access all the tutorials for free um, and you can start to learn Blender from some basic stuff and into some more advanced stuff. So this is around 80 megs, so it's almost halfway done. We'll just wait for this to finish and then we'll install the software um, and see how it's running. Okay, let's drag and drop that file into here. We'll close this down for the moment and we'll just launch this file. And we just follow the on-screen instructions It takes a few seconds to install, so we just wait for that to install now. And then we'll give it a quick test to make sure everything seems to be working correctly. Let's just make sure this version, because I think, you know, in general, Blender is going to keep updating this particular version. So it may be worth installing every few months or every month or so. Uh, so this is a little icon they put on the desktop. I'm going to drag and drop that in the recycle bin. I'll click here, right click on Blender go to more and then pin it to my taskbar so now if I want to launch that particular application I can launch it from down here and let's just give it a quick test I'm working on a project at the moment um, it's this sort of sci-fi spaceship project and I'll be making a tutorial on that fairly soon so if you keep an eye on my YouTube channel I'm going to show you how to make this um, this particular project using Blender it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's highly advanced but it's quite advanced and if you're just beginning with Blender you've not used it before 3D animation software, it's free to use, and uh, this one's quite advanced, but I'll show you where you can start to learn some more basic stuff for my YouTube channel. So this all seems to be working fine. This is actually working very, very smooth, so I think they've done some improvements to Blender. Let's close that down, and we'll just discard the changes. We'll go back to the web browser, and here I'm on my YouTube channel. So I'll put a link to my YouTube channel in the YouTube description. If you go to playlists here, You'll see that I've, I've uploaded over 450 video tutorials on a wide range of subjects. I don't really like to use one bit of software and just do one thing. I like to, you know, learn loads of different things and then share that knowledge with you. So you'll find lots of different things here, not just Blender. If you click on view full playlist underneath the Blender 3D animation tutorials, if you click here, you can see all the different tutorials that I've created. Some are like text animation. I've done a really good one on particles here. Um, there's like materials. There's loads of different stuff. Really, you don't want to go too far down. I would say up to like here. This is all Blender 2.8 going upwards. Everything down here is like older version of Blender when I was using Blender before. But check out some of these tutorials. Ones that I recommend that you look at definitely is this one here. This is like um, a dissolve text tutorial that was quite interesting. And then there's explode modifier tutorial there's one with collision detections so a lot of the things when i make tutorials i'm trying to incorporate different aspects of blender so like particles and collision detection here and then you've got like the explode modifier you've got particle effects here uh, you've got like a music visualizer here this one you've got looping tunnels so you can do like sci-fi looping tunnels you've got materials here textured text loads of different things this is a particle simulation Another, these all three of these are particle simulations and then I've got this beginners tutorial I'd advise you if you've never used blender I'd advise you go through these three parts here this will really get you up to speed just on the basics right and then you've got fire simulations you've got smoke simulations here uh, you've got like a sci-fi tunnel 
I've just finished this one here. This is like a sci-fi landscape. That was quite an interesting tutorial to do. And now we're going to work on this ship tutorial, uh, this sci-fi ship uh, animation next. So I'll be putting that up on YouTube once I've done the tutorial for it. So feel free to check out my tutorials. You'll see lots of other ones here. Anything from like bookkeeping to PayPal stuff to video editing. You've got uh, Facebook tutorials. There's just a wide mixed range of stuff here that I, it's always just like a knowledge dump for me. I just want to share as much of my knowledge as possible um, and share it with you guys so that you can learn from it as well. Okay, so let's close that down. That's how you go about installing Blender 2.8, the official release, the final release, onto Windows 10. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Web tutorial.